Ramadan day one vlog. So this, I probably should have started recording. Probably I say what about almost like what five hours ago, six hours ago, whatever. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't been feeling it. So by the time y'all see this vlog, I probably have not have dropped my vlog in Bimini, Bahamas. So the order of how my videos are coming out are probably out of order. But fast forward, and the reason I say this is because fast forward to now, currently, I'm actually back at my crib. I'm in my prayer room right now. Um, and today's actually the first day of Ramadan. Um, yeah, I woke up early, earlier this morning. I ate, you know, but so, and this is probably why it's very imperative that I, pro I probably should have dropped the Ben Mini vlog so you guys can kind of get a, a, a good understanding <laughs> of why I'm recording during the day right so I've been up uh, I've been uh, you know meditating you know focus on myself um, right now my goals for this particular Ramadan what I want to accomplish what I would do want to fast from etc um, and the main thing is uh, so when I woke up uh, Ramadan I feel great I traditionally fat intermediate fast throughout the day but since I've been you know out of the country uh, for like the past week and then you know going to Miami going to Tampa like I am suffering from post nasal drainage which um, I've had since I was a, a baby uh, and I don't feel too great and from my plane ride yesterday my back doesn't feel too great at all either yesterday so um, I did eat this morning uh, like, you know, a couple hours ago before, of course, before sunrise, but for the most part, today's going to be a chill day. We hustling today, though. Even though we're not eating, not drinking, we're definitely hustling. Uh, I never did drugs, never drunk, or any of that other type of stuff, so I don't really have to fast from those particular things, but, um, I am fasting from food, and I'm fasting from negative people. Um... I say like the next 30 days, I'm going to be pushing myself to my limits and, you know, focus on, you know, my businesses and what makes me money and also focusing on, you know, being a better person, being a better Muslim as well, too. So. Yeah, so currently, you know, we in the prayer room. Uh, excuse the prayer room. My prayer room is a little dirty. Uh, I haven't been home. Like, I literally just got back in town last night. You know, we got the Quran, we got the thicker beads. Right here, <clears throat> hold the Quran, and you read it this way. Okay, so so instead of uh, right to left, you read it left to right. Um, for those who are non-Muslim and don't know, so I will be beginning, you know, uh, my journey of reading the Quran, and um, yeah. So the goal is also to try to read the whole entire Quran. Um, this particular Ramadan, I um, haven't been able to really do so these past couple of Ramadans, but uh, Now what I will say I do not feel the best, but hey, we're gonna get through it, you know Then we're gonna relearn Arabic as well, too. I used to speak when I was younger um, so we'll Learn some more surahs and then you know, we got all, all the different, you know, Qur'ans on the day. But for the most part uh, This Ramadan should be a dope one um, I don't know if this particular vlog is probably going to be a, my whole day or just capturing several different moments where we just doing a, a one and done. But yeah, anyways, the Bimini vlog is on the way. Um, we got so much content, it's hours plus long. Hours plus. So it's not like a, oh, a 10 minute thing, you know. When Bryce puts the actual, his version of the vlog on um, the Hoodie Gang YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to Hoodie Gang too. Um, it will probably be uh, probably like 10 minutes, 30 minutes or something like that. But we have hours of content from the trip. It's crazy. Um, one of the more craziest experiences ever. But yeah, so... This is day one of Ramadan. I'm not going to be vlogging every day in Ramadan. Probably be giving you guys updates, but I want to do a video. I feel like nobody's really, you know, ever, like, done, you know, a, 
a documentary style type version of what they have going on during Ramadan. Um, as of right now, so I'm finally back home. Now, what I will say is, before I did leave the country, I got these. Now, let me go ahead and cover my address. But you know, I got these. So you know, health insurance uh, exam, license exam, passed that, and then the uh, life insurance and annuities exam. I passed both of those. So actually come uh you know the next two hours or so i'm actually about to go get my fingerprints did and i'm um, already you know with the agency I'm not gonna say the name yet because i don't know if everything's official so i'm gonna be sending life insurance and health insurance so this should be really dope hopefully you know it's a great way you know to make some easier money than i have been in real estate because real estate is okay but real estate it's a lot of hard work um and I ain't gonna lie, I ain't, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, you know, I'm not, when it comes to actually like selling and, you know, residential, and this is why I got into the commercial game. The reason why I got into the commercial game with real estate is because like, people who tend to buy commercial tend to already know what they want, and they tend to have the money on hand and ready to spend the money right here, right now, let's go. Versus working with people with residential, Especially working with uh, people who don't necessarily have that much money, which is a good amount of Americans today. Um, it's time consuming. It's not a guarantee that you're going to make some money. And it's really hard work. It's super duper hard work. And the type of hard work that you do, it's not like you're going to guarantee to get paid. Versus if you're selling something like life insurance, which is a lot more affordable. Uh, it's a high ticket product that's a lot more affordable for people and it also provides more value because realistically a lot of people are not really meant to buy a house i mean that just is what it is but it's cool but everybody's going to end up dying everybody's going to end up having a family member so everybody should have life insurance or health insurance so that's why i pretty much got into the business and also it will help with uh you know me doing the uh health and fitness journey even though it's Ramadan, trust and believe we working out, baby. We are working out. We working out. I'm actually going to work out today. I'm actually going to work out like in the next like a uh, couple of uh, minutes, actually. But, you know, this is what I got going on today. We back in the tra trap today. We selling nothing but oils in the field. Trying to meet some new people. I had to go back home. I'm not going to lie. So, I've been in Miami. Um, and this last garage, being in Miami, I just was not feeling the vibe. It's a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I just needed to come back home and regroup. And uh, just, you know, clear my mind, get my mind together. And then, you know, make some money, you know, get back to my roots. And uh, just build from scratch. Like right now, guys, when I tell you this particular Ramadan, you know, I'm only, I saw I just turned 24 in January. This is like the first time and I think in my life where I really feel like I'm really restarting from scratch. So like when it comes to like, you know, my income streams, I mean, we always had the oils, but I feel like this is the current time at 24. This is my time where I'm like really only focused on like what I got going on specifically and not pretty much worried about helping other people or worrying about what other everybody else got going on. So that's my goal for this Ramadan is definitely to focus on building myself up. Like I've helped build other people's brands up, you know, on the money aspect. I've helped build brands to multi-million dollar brands. I've helped companies bring in multiple six figure, high six figure months several times. You know, I've helped people do so much. It's like, dang, you know, it's nothing wrong with helping people, but I got to do that stuff for myself. Um... So that's something that's been on my mind heavy. And I'm still in school too, but I have a year and some change left of school. My mom's still out of the country. She won't be back till like September. So, you know, I gotta like, I'm in my grown man phase this Ramadan. Like this Ramadan, I gotta like really go get it. You know, I really gotta, you know, build something. Me though, I gotta build something, you know? And then and it's crazy like coming back to Pensacola. This whole Pensacola uh, area is like, uh, when I tell you I have no reliable resources in Pensacola right now, it's crazy.
my whole team moved. Like every, everybody that I was really cool with either moved out of the country or they move out of this area. So like I have really no resources. Resources I do have, they kind of, you know, not as reliable, not because of the type of person they are, but because of age and wear and tear on their body, etc. So yeah, but yeah, but let me, I want to show you guys something before, you know, I cut this part of the vlog. So I haven't been home in so long. And so with my mama being out the country, you know, a lot of my resources out here are limited. Look up, check out my grass. Like, grass is going crazy right now. So I'm going to cover that today too, after I work out. Um, just basically just being back to, you know, being a man of, you know, my other crib. I don't know if I showed my other crib, my Miami crib to you guys yet. We're actually working on getting a new one, but hey. But yeah, brief intro, Ramadan day one. Uh, I'm going to try to get some more content throughout the day. If not, you know, definitely make sure you guys subscribe, share, this, that, and the third. Uh, and yeah, be right back. Yo, so what's up, guys? So, uh, back at it, your Ramadan vlog, you know. So typically how my day is, you know, when I'm in my hometown or whatever, um, every morning, we working out. We getting a little workout in, but since we fasting because it's Ramadan, um, I'm going to do a light workout because I can't really drink. I can't drink or can't eat anything. So I'm going to do a light warm-up workout. And then probably later tonight when I do break fast, I'm going to actually go to the gym for real and really get a workout session in. So typically, so here's the workout that I do. Here's my warm-up. It's a three-minute workout by Mike Rashid. I'm going to show you guys. And also, excuse the interview that I have playing in the background. Oh, wow. oh my God. Just lock, just kick my phone under my uh sofa. That's crazy. Oh my god. Uh, uh, hopefully it's not breaking. This phone, this phone didn't really been through it. I swear. I swear, I swear this phone has been through it. So, <clears throat> and like I said, guys, I'm still going through post. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, nasal dra drainage or whatever. Like it's killing me though. Uh, three minute workout micro sheet. So if you go on YouTube and look this up, this is what's gonna pop up. That three minute full. It's a build. It's a uh, let's see. Build muscle and burn fat. Three minute total body workout. Now, Mike Rashid, he's a uh, a workout influencer. Um, and this is like pretty much a three minute full body workout in three minutes. Now, if you guys go on my channel and just type in workout on my channel, you guys will see the workout that I'm about to do. Um, we're gonna knock it out in three minutes, probably like four. Very intense, really gets to it and whatnot, but yeah. So I'm gonna do this real quick and then um we gotta get ready for you know the appointment, the insurance appointment. When I do go to the insurance appointment, we definitely gonna try to see if we can sell some oils to whoever uh we servicing today as well too. So be right back. Alright y'all, so I just finished my light workout. I didn't really do too much because uh freaking I ain't got access to no water, no food, no nothing for the next like freaking 10 hours. So, yeah. So, but what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do a prep for our shower. Um, so, I cleaner, put on some cleaner to clean clean my face my, that my uh, wifey made for me or whatever. It's really dope. And y'all, when I hear this stuff work, by the time the video drops, I will put a, um, a referral link in the video for those who want to buy some. 
from her. We definitely support her brand. I'm working on getting a new website up right now. But, um, yeah. God support the wife. You can hear it. And this is how I, one of the thing products that I use to get my face so clear, skin so soft, etc. Uh, uh, now, one thing I will say, I can really do the whole fasting thing around uh, easy, no problem. I've had like a lot of people try to say, you know, dang, fasting for 30 days is hard. It's only hard if you make it hard. Um, this is something like, you know, it's kind of like, it's a breeze for me. But I've also been doing this for like 20 something years since I've been a baby. Dang near. Um, not really that hard. Mm. The biggest thing is uh, really just staying focused and keeping your mind. Like, you just keep your mind focused for the most part. Like, it's the biggest thing. Yeah, so, and the great thing about this cleanser, though, is that you can put this anywhere on your body. And let's say, you know, you suffer from blackheads, you suffer from hair bumps, um, or even, like, flakes in your hair. You can put it on your hair. It will get rid of it. It'll help you cleanse anything. Any skin problem that you got going on, it will get rid of it. So, shout out to Bay for getting me right. Just how I let it sit. Um, I'm starting to feel it for real on my face. But, yeah. But yeah, so, and I guess what, on to the, you know, the insurance thing. Yeah. Yo, so, um, went ahead and got my fingerprints done. I actually had to run out of the house because I spent too much time getting ready and whatnot. But, uh, I fixed that fingerprints on the way. So I got my life and health insurance exam passed. Right now, I'm just waiting on the insurance part to come in. So for the rest of my day for Ramadan, um, I gotta fulfill orders. So I haven't been in the country. I haven't been in town, period, like in freaking uh, longer than a week. So I have orders that I need to fulfill, shea butter orders, oil orders that I need to get done and shipped out and whatnot. So I'm gonna handle that. And then currently, what you guys hear in the background is actually um, uh, one of my uh, so the agency marketing agency that I'm a part of we're currently having a meeting right now so I'm handling that um, and then I really later today I think I'm gonna go hustle and get some clients for some oils and whatnot so you know if you guys are actually interested in starting your own oil business check the link in the description below you know potentially make you know a couple thousand dollars you know in a day a uh, couple thousand dollars in a week, a couple hundred dollars in a day guarantee for sure if you just apply yourself, just meet new people. Um, Pensacola, the reason why I'm not out in the field right now is because my day doesn't really get started till like the afternoon, like where people are actually ready to spend money. Afternoon and happy hour and then nighttime. That's really like how my clientele works, but yeah. So yeah, and then currently, Got my bae calling me right now, so gotta answer this, so I'll be right back. So, finna break fast. Um, the rest of the day I ended up sleeping or whatever, so didn't really get to do anything. I'm vlogging, clearly. We got Indian food, vegan food, all up in here. Think that we're bringing fast with. Move out my way, please. Thank you. And we have a whole bunch of fruit, good healthy vegan food, or whatever, for the most part. We don't eat, well I don't eat any unhealthy, unruly foods. I haven't been doing so in the past like couple of months either. No sugars or anything. Toxic sugar. So yeah, and that's pretty much day one, Ramadan, so yeah. Peace.